guys, so we are live. So what's up, guys? It's Mr. T coming at you live from NYC. Welcome back to Convos, our podcast over here at Tim Talks. And hey, guys, welcome back to another episode. And um, if you guys might notice, there's just like um, a little bit of a change in the audio quality. It's just because I um, got myself a new tripod. Um, well, actually, it wasn't my idea. It was actually my sister's idea. You already know Madame Audacity. She's been featured in some episodes and she convinced me to get this tripod and um i'm not gonna lie i didn't know how it was gonna look like and i didn't do too much research into it i i was sincerely gonna just throw this at her and then just let her have it and i didn't think that i would actually get to use it for the podcast but now that i'm looking at it and it looks pretty dang convenient and so you know that's what i'm gonna be using for this episode and so if you guys notice a change in the quality, again, you know, please let me know because I am always looking forward to just trying to improve the hardware and the software that I've got. But again, you know, this wasn't um, completely my idea. It was Madame Audacity's own. So again, shout out to her for suggesting this because again, um, it looks really cool. Um, she said she found it on TikTok. And as you guys probably know, um, I usually stick around with Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. I don't want to spread myself too thin because, you know, there's just a lot to juggle. Because, um, you know, I'm a solo podcaster. And I have some guests. But again, you know, I'm just me running the show over here. So again, um, that's just... Uh, that's how she found it. She found it on TikTok. She saw the reviews and I looked at it briefly and it looked pretty cool and I wanted to order it. I, I was convinced and then now that I'm actually using it again, um, it helps a lot because again, my software guys, not gonna lie, um, it's not the usual typical software that I have. Um, it's very basic, but then again, you guys like what I'm putting out. And again, thank you guys so much for your support. I'm not sugarcoating anything. And again, you know, my voice is always monotone, but I love you guys so much for everything that you've done. Again, to help the podcast grow, help the channel grow, um, help us grow as a community, as a family. And again, you know, I know there's a lot of people out there. There's a lot of YouTubers and a lot of podcasters. Also, they're all, they're also amazing. I got a, I got a chance to take take a look at them over um, past couple weeks and again you know they're pretty good so again it's not that the competition's tough but i just know that people pull out some pretty good shiz right so yeah apart from that again i hope you guys enjoy the new um audio quality that i've got i i don't know if the tripod is going to make a difference i don't know what it does yet but i'm gonna use it later on for future live streams so hope for the best um and also with the live streams, Madame Audacity found a way to improve the camera quality. So again, um, I don't know if that's going to reflect on YouTube and Instagram when I go live. But again, we'll hope for the best. We'll see how it goes. And um, just hope and pray that all goes well, right? But anyway, apart from that, guys, um, let's get down to the topic that I got today. And, you know, this is actually pretty interesting. You know, the funny thing about the comments that you guys leave for me is that they're less about problems, but more about, you know um what do you call that advice it, it's not that there's like a problem that i usually see now in the comments because i think um we've covered so much in just the past couple of months that i there wasn't much apart from you know asking about my life you know asking what advice i could give you and all those kind of things and some of the comments that i've been getting is centered around high school now you know i still remember my high school years um i was still this socially awkward person i'm not gonna lie i um other people may not say so now just because i'm doing a podcast and just because i'm more sociable to other people but there was a time when i will admit that i was awful at talking to other people and you know sometimes i can't get the gist of what's happening around me and i i think it's because of the fact that you know um with everything happening all around me. I, I was always self-centered. I was always so focused on what I was doing at that time that I didn't get a chance to look around and see the bigger picture, all right? So again, you know, guys, um, introvert to introvert. Again, you know, this world, there, there's so much more in store if we just talk, right? And so um, I learned over the course of my time in high school, I still remember when I was there and I eventually grew out of it just because of my friends. Um, and on top of that as well, you know, I was also reflecting on what I was going to do with my life. And you guys probably saw the title of the podcast. Um, we're focusing on that. You know, 
Um, many of you guys, I know that you probably finished high school. Um, some of you guys are well into high school and are about to graduate. Some of you guys have already moved on past and are probably in college. Um, but some of the comments that I've been getting from you guys, and again, most of these comments are um, PM'd or DM'd. Again, they're really private, and I won't say who it is, and I will respect their um, confidentiality. I'll respect their privacy. But again, most of the comments that I've been getting now are centered towards, you know, what should we do, like, after high school? And so, again, thinking about my life, um, for, first off, my pathway was I went to college. Um, it was not just because my family suggested it. It's not that they encouraged me or that they ensured that I got to college. But it was rather, like, it was like my choice. And, you know, the thing about our choices is that Again, you know, no one can say otherwise about what it is. You know, if we if we win, we win. If we lose, we lose, you know. And so I'm going to be straightforward and chill about that because, you know, I feel as though people should take the risk when it comes down to, you know, their own life, right? Especially, you know, they. I, I think this is everyone's culture where, for example, when you're 18, you know, that that's a sign that you're an adult, right? And then because you're an adult, you have the free reign to make your own choices. You get to decide your own future, decide your own fate if you're magical or whatever. But again, you know, the future is now in your hands. And so that's the thing there because many people, like many people have said in the comments, they, they were just wondering what pathways are there for people, you know. And again, you know, in my mindset, you know, I feel as though things can be very simple accept this kind of choice because again you know it is your future and you know i understand that people want to make the right choice they want to live a f fulfilling life and they want to live a quote-unquote you know successful life and um i got my own opinion about that but i'll get more onto that in a bit but again you know there are different pathways i feel that people can take when it comes down to you know once you finish high school what are the ways that you can go about you know first off again like i said i went down the college pathway you know i i I've always valued that there's more that i could learn you know um even though i was smart in high school it doesn't guarantee that that's going to be the same towards college and in my you know my future because again there's other people who are smart and you know i also love those people who are smart and just that they're humble enough to you know just not say so because that's when you know that people are destined for greatness if they can learn to respect other people but back to what i was saying so again with college that's the pathway that i chose and um on saipan in saipan sorry um again there was only one college there apart from going over to guam and there's another university over there but in saipan there was only one college it was called nmc um the northern marianas college and so um it's not that it was the cheaper choice that was one choice um that was one factor but there was a, another factor that maybe there was a, a major that i can look into there and lo and behold i actually became a teacher like i got my degree in education it was a bachelor's four years um and i love my colleagues and i just love the experience i love the professors because um they've got experience some um, had graduated from New York, some have graduated from California, and so they brought that experience over there to an island in the middle of the ocean. So again, shout outs to them because they were such wonderful professors and they really made my experience fulfilling. And guys, you know, if you ever, when you're out of high school and if you're still deciding on what you want to do with your life, college is one good pathway. And it's not that, I know there's a lot in, I know there's a lot and People, for example, other, are saying otherwise that maybe you don't need to go to college. And again, you know, it's understandable. But the thing is, is that sometimes you find your way back to it. Or sometimes, again, you know, some people take their comments at face value and say, hey, you know, um, that person just doesn't want to go to college. And maybe I shouldn't go to as well because I can be successful. And again, you know, it's good to have the mindset like you're determined and you're passionate. But again, there's nothing wrong with learning. You know, everything comes from learning. Even the most successful people. You got Bill Gates, Jeffrey, uh, Jeff Bezos, you, Elon Musk. You have those people, right? Some of them have their own mental conditions. You guys can search that up on Google. Um, they have their own um, mentalities. But also they have conditions that they're coping with. But they became successful only because of the fact that they learn. You know? And the same thing goes for college. Because college is just one way in which you can learn. You know? So again... 
when co- when I went off to college, I learned so much, and you know, I I got to make my own choice there, and I love to teach. You know, just because I had the heart, I had the soul, I had the patience. In my own opinion, again, um, again, other people can say otherwise if I don't sound like it, but again, that's just my voice. But again, you know, I found what I wanted to do, and I loved it. And I was thankful for it because college was the way to go for me. I, and again, you know, whoever's tuning in right now, again, it's totally your own choice about if you want to go to college. Because again, you know, don't let, for example, if you're doing it for the sake of another person's decision made to you, then you're not gonna be happy. If you're gonna be happy, it's it's gotta be your own choice. And again, remember, you know, my criteria, right? If you're not hurting yourself or hurting other people, you can go for whatever, right? So again, you know, just be very careful with that because I feel as though those are the two criteria when it comes down to choosing your future. Again, don't hurt other people and don't hurt yourself. If you find something, a pathway that leads you to that, then don't go for that. But if you find something in which you're not hurting other people, you're helping people, you're helping yourself, you're, you're making the world better, then absolutely you know, go for it, right? So again, what I also love about college is the fact that there's so many options. And again, the one killer for many people, and I'm not gonna argue with y'all because it is true. You know, finance, you know, the thing is there, you know, you gotta deal with scholarships, you gotta deal with taxes, you gotta deal with all those things. And, you know, it's come to that point where I started to hate even the thought about money because people can be so stressed out when you know for example and this is only this is for those who are in america right i i've seen it for myself in america that there's so many ways to earn like literally even though i i'm here in nyc and i'm in the financial capital where everything is accessible um again you know i still have to find my way around um and even if i'm thinking about going back to college for my masters again i still got to think about ways in which i got to earn but i've seen so many ways in which people can earn like I've literally done this app, it's called Inbox Dollars. And I thought it was just an amazing app that combined everything that I've done in the past. Like I used to scan receipts. I used to take surveys. I used to play games um, to improve my finances. And this app, this one app was able to allow me to do so. Like I was able to use Inbox Dollars and it, it's like a, this giant app where you can do everything all at once. And no one can say otherwise, it was my money in which I get to use and I, I'm thankfully I've been able to use it for what was needed, right? And the same goes for people who could be pursuing college as their life choice. Again, you know, there's so many ways to earn and to say that there isn't, again, you know, we live in the dig- we live in the digital age. You know, we live in the age where even a person who's homeless, as long as they have a phone, they can find a way to earn. You know, again, you know, don't underestimate people for the way they look or the way they are because especially nowadays There's just so many ways that you can find a way around your finances. You can find a way around that. And again, it's all about being proactive, not just being smart. You can be smart. You can be the smartest person in the whole dang room. And I felt that at one point about myself, and that was a mistake because I know that other people are made for success. And I know that other people can be successful. And again, same thing goes for when you're in college and when you're worried about finances, you're worried about how things are going to be in the future. Again, it, it's what matters is the now. You know, you got to be alive. You got to be well. You got to be able. And most importantly, you got to keep going. Because, you know, I had my own challenges back in Saipan. They were not easy because we were in, again, we were in the middle of nowhere. Like we were in the middle, smack dab in the middle of the ocean. And we didn't have everything at our disposable, oh, disposable, disposal, like, like we didn't have uber eats we didn't have you um amazon prime like literally amazon prime over there it takes like two three weeks even if it said prime because again it's so hard to get a plane over in saipan so again um just to make things come full circle again with college that's an awesome pathway for you to pursue there's so many colleges and again if you plan to do so talk to your financial aid officer talk to financial aid Literally because of the fact that if you don't know at that point what to do with your money or how to access money or how to be smart about money, not that you're dumb, but rather that 
you you want to be you know money smart you want to be financially well you want to be successful in that you know see a person who's done so right see a person because everyone started from humble origins like literally a baby a baby doesn't have anything right so i can say that we all come from humble origins but even still rich or poor there's still um needs to be the effort to earn right and again if you're gonna go for college there's other people who's been on that same path and who've surpassed the challenges they move forward and they went for it right so again college is one way outside of um once you get out of high school i guarantee you're gonna have fun and you know this is so dang important please please choose a college choose a major that you want not that what another person has chosen for you it doesn't have to be your family or friends or whatever but it's you because you're the one who's gonna determine your future you know and if for example if your parents want to suggest you like for example choose a major where you get you're financially well you know of course everyone wants to be financially well but if you're not mentally well then there's no point right why would you choose a major for example if you wanted to be a teacher why would you choose like aeronautics why would you go for outer space because you're not gonna like it and you're gonna put other people at risk right and that's the thing it has to be your choice please make it your choice above all and you know then you can experiment you know once you have a degree you can totally do whatever right um so i know that i've been talking for like the past half um half half hour about college and i'll get to the other choices in a bit but i'm gonna just play something for y'all on the radio and please enjoy this from blog no copyright music again shout out to them for everything that they've done they're an amazing group and i love that they feature other wonderful musicians and artists and I, I love them so much. I'm, I'm gonna just say that. But I'm gonna go ahead and play for you something on the radio. See how, see how you go. This is how I feel and I can't stop. Opposites attract and need you nonstop. Cause I know it ain't easier. We can still make it work. <laughs> Alright guys, so we are back and I kind of made a blunder when we went off and the radio played So again, I apologize for that But again, I hope you guys enjoyed what was on the radio Again, shout outs to Blog No Copyright Music for everything that they've done And I featured them so much now on the platform and I featured them so much on the channel They are an amazing group and I love them so much for everything that they've done But seriously guys, keep it up and I hope for the best for you And keep making those awesome soundtracks, alright? But back to what I was saying, so I'm gonna move on from college. I promise you, this is not an ad for any college or whatever, but again, this is just one option, right? Another one is the military. Now, truth be told, again, 
even to this day, I still wonder in my mind what gives people the strength and the courage and the wisdom and the bravery to, you know, uphold the call of duty and to go out there and serve the nation or whatever nation you may be serving. Like, seriously, I am like flabbergasted with how the hell people can think about that to make that ultimate sacrifice, knowing if and when you don't know when you don't know where you don't know why your life can be taken, but you've done your duty to defend the nation. I am still awestruck by the military and they have my full support. Shout outs to them for everything that they've done to kept um, to kept to keep the nations that they are under safe because literally that is so damn difficult. But again, that is also another worthy way outside of high school, after high school rather, I should say, that you can pursue. That is such a fulfilling career and there's so many opportunities. Um, but again, you know, that's totally your choice. You know, you know, it's like, for example, I'm, I'm gonna bring up something religious, but it's like, have you guys heard like when a priest says that they were called to serve? Well, same thing goes here. It's just so different where um, at one point I've seen my friends, some of them were majoring in accounting, majoring in business, and all of a sudden they're like, hey, you know, I want to join the military. And these are people who, um, no offense to them, but again, I did not expect that decision to come so soon, let alone at that time. Because again, you know, when you're between your, um, what do you call that? your teens to your late 20s again you know your life you know once you've made that choice you you still want to go for it but again you know some people when they finish college they're like hey you know i want to join the military again that still amazes me to this day how it is that people can think about that let alone even have that on their mind but again you know if that's what they feel totally go for it i really value as well you know it's not just about guns you know it's not just about fighting it's not just about playing with the weaponry and then, hey, you know, I get to shoot the bad guy. You know, it ain't all about that. The military is something where you learn to be disciplined. You learn to be ready, not just combat ready, but mentally ready. You learn how to be just that person who thinks of their life as less and thinks of the nation as more. And I think that's the best way that I can put it is that in the military, there is just so much you can you can join so many different branches like you can join the um let me just go in order army the navy the air force the marines um the coast guard and the newly instated space force so there are six branches and call me out any any of you guys who are listening and who are in the military please call me out if i'm wrong because i was wrong before in another podcast and then someone i a friend a close friend i know from the military pointed out that i missed a branch and i think it was the coast guard um so no offense and please forgive me for that mistake because I completely overlooked that that there was I literally sincerely thought that the Navy was at the branch of its own. But then I rewatched Business Insider and I remember the Coast Guard and I was like, oh, shoot. So again, I do apologize. But again, there's so many branches. And again, you know, you don't have to be the strongest swimmer. You don't have to be not afraid of heights. You don't have to be um, not afraid of death. Because again, you know, people have those um fears and those trepidations and those challenges but that's all that there is to see in the military and they'll help you outgrow it and hopefully conquer it and then maybe you can do the same for other people again you know just because you go into the military doesn't mean that there shouldn't be fear because again you know what is being brave if you don't know how to understand other people you know what i mean so but again you know If you get out of high school and you feel that the military is calling, you don't have to be the buffest guy. You don't have to have played sports. You don't even have to have the highest grades. But they will, once you get into it, they will get you to that level. And I've seen so many of my friends who, again, they are amazing people and they are wonderful. And they, but they just felt that they didn't have the chops for... They didn't have the chops for being in the military, but they were so determined. They they wanted to do that. And it's not because that they didn't want to go to college. It's just that they wanted to support their family and support, in this case, the United States. And again, that is um, that is amazing. And um, now, now that I see them, they are already recruited. They Someone was stationed. Um, I'm not going to disclose 
which specific base, but some are stationed in Poland, some are stationed in Japan, and again, that's amazing because I got to see them when they were young, and I didn't think, I didn't have the assumption, I didn't even consider the fact that they may join the military. And sometimes it also tears me up as well that some I might see them at one point, but I may not see them again. And you know what with the world, I don't know what's gonna happen. I hope for the best for the world, but again, they made their choice and they went for it with open arms and they're um, they're gonna serve the nation with flying colors. So again, shout outs to them for everything that they've done. And again, if you want to do that as a career and you are afraid that it may not be your choice, but if you know in your heart, your body, mind, and soul that you want to go for this and say, hey, you know, I want to be an airman. I want to be a sailor. I want to be a defender of the nation. Go for it. That is also something that is fulfilling, dutiful, and above all, respectable. Because literally, you guys are amazing. For any of you who want to go for the military or who are already in the military and are serving right now or have retired, if you're a veteran, absolutely shout outs to you for everything that you've done. So that's another pathway. And one other pathway that I want to highlight is go for vocation. You know, um, you guys have heard of those vocational institutes. Um, these are places like I remember in Saipan, they have something called NMTI, Northern Marianas Technical Institute. They teach you different subjects that fall into obscurity, but then they are also just as important. The culinary arts, engineering, and you know, some goes into the medical field, some goes into politics in the gov- um, in the government sector. And so the N- at NMTI, this institute, and again, this is not a promo or ad or anything. Again, they're encouraging other people who may have a skill set that may, that for example, if the person doesn't want to go for college and the person doesn't want to go for the military, that's fine. But if he's still determined to learn something and be a part of a bigger picture, be a part of the society in which Again, people may say otherwise, but I've read a book from this wonderful doctor and he mentioned that the world, once you get rid of the misconception, is improving day by day, you know, and I agree, you know, I don't see people nowadays, I I literally see white people with black people, I don't see homeless people being killed or thrown off the street, they're walking around with me and I see these wonderful gangs getting together and again, it's unbelievable, so again, the Vocational Institute, again, these are places, if you guys can search up online, um, search up in your local state or city or region, wherever. Like literally search up Vocational Institute and then your state, city, whatever. And you'll find that there are places there where you can sign up and then they'll teach you skills. They'll give you certificates. They'll give you honors in which you can use to apply to jobs. Like literally, if you really think about it, right? Um... Once you have a diploma, it's a plus. It's already a plus. But if you have these certificates that tell you, oh, you know, you can totally do this, right? You are qualified. You've learned the chops. Because again, you know, in vocational institutes or schools, it's all about the experience, you know? And it's all about just experimenting, listening to your mentors, and just improving. Like, it's literally a school in and of itself for you that you want. You know, when you're in regular school, like public or private school, again, not a vocational school, but if you're just growing up, like from kinder all the way to 12th grade, a K to 12 education, again, the curriculum is dictated for um to you. Like you follow the curriculum set forth by the school, but it's different in a vocational school because no matter what, the curriculum there you get the chance to look at it for yourself. You get a chance to see what you're going to touch on, what you're going to touch base on, what it is that you're going to do, who it is you're going to meet, how many people are you going to be with, and above all, what is it that you're overall going to be learning, right? You will be able to see it as compared to when you're in elementary, middle, or high school when someone else does it for you. No, this time you get to be able to see behind the scenes of the teacher. You get to be able to see it for yourself if you decide to go for a vocational school. And again, you know, there are so many different kinds because vocational just means like, you know, you're something that you want to do, you know, different lines of work that you can do. You can get out there into the workforce and have a good life, you know, because again, I, I most, I am mostly, I really value this where again, going for what you love is so dang important, but I'm gonna get to that at the very end. But 
again going for a vocational school an institute um and and all those different places that can cater to something that you like but they're so specific and they can give you the qualifications for it absolutely go for it again you know what you learned in school is just the the um what do you call it, the foundation but you literally have so much more in store if you decide to go for a school or an institute or a place that thinks of you you know so again these places you're going to find some of the most humble people you're going to find connoisseurs in their field experts marshals you're going to find people who know what they're doing in terms of subjects that you have an interest in and these people get to teach you cuz again you know these are people who when they're teaching this they did what they love and they're willing to showcase it and teach it to you at a place that you chose you know anyone who's teaching you how to be a chef they are chefs themselves so they chose that people who are engineers hey they chose to be an engineer you can't just fake that you can't just lie about that they chose it so again another wonderful choice again that's totally up to you so again those are the three major choices you get you either want to go to college you want to go for the military you want to go for a vocational school and there's a final one which will come full circle with everything that you learn let's say you're still contemplating on everything and you're thinking about whatever and whenever and why ever right the most important thing is to go for something that you love even if you want to do it solo and that's why i mention it at the end because another pathway but this can also combine everything is to go for a pathway that you want let's say you want to start a business or a company if you know if you want to learn yourself you want to be self taught and you want to make something that you want that in which will give you a future you can totally go for it right again and then you can you can join college you can join the military you can join a vocational school anytime you want but if you want to make something in which you get to focus on yourself and find your passion find your find your inner workings find your inner self find that creativity and love you know just that alone go for it cuz literally and that's what come um brings everything that i said and that's what makes it come full circle is that everything you do is for the sake of what you love and i know i've said that before in other podcasts but literally love is just unbound right it's unbounded it is unlimited it is something in which will determine your passion and what you want to do in life from going to enroll at college from taking up and upholding the line of duty in the military from joining a vocational school in which you get to cater to different people who think like you act like you and consider you as their colleague to making something of yourself in which is unique to the world that no one else has done you know all of that centers around what you love but again you know most especially make it for yourself right and again i'm not encouraging you to be self-centered that's something completely different when you're self-centered you don't think of other people but rather if you're focusing on building something in and of yourself also think about other people because you know if not for other people we wouldn't have the things that we have i wouldn't have my nintendo switch over there charging right now or that tv that i'm staring at or this computer where i'm going to edit the podcast later on or this fan of which i wish i turned on but i can't because it's going to mess up the freaking audio quality i can't do that but everything that we've had in the world is because of the fact that it's not from us alone you know do what we love and do what it, we love for other people you know especially you know if you want to find what you're doing in life because again people are still wonderful and people can be distrustful people can peeve at you they can freaking mess with you but again you know there's still a future right and that person is still going to be there right i've not i have not heard a single person wishing for someone to die so hopefully not in this case but again you know the world in and of itself right is connected and people have the choice and the free will to choose their pathway choose what they love and above all make a difference right so again do what you love above all and you know you just came from high school for anyone who's listening if you're still going through high school think about what i've said over here think about what it is that you want to do with your life 
And for any of you guys who are just going to graduate soon, again, you know, you can think about what it is that you love because it should be on you, right? It should be what you want above all, right? And any of you who's already in the future, think about are you where you want to be right now? Do you love it? Not just because you have the chops, but do you have the guts? Do you have the love for it? Because if you have that, you're in the right place. Because you'll find what you love and then later on you get to find something else that you love and then your life will become this fulfilling and wonderful place that you get to enjoy. Heck, I've literally seen homeless people have a wonderful life and they totally don't mind. And I, what I love about NYC is that people respect other people no matter what, right? People just want life. People just want to live a good life. And some people, I've seen them sad and discontent and it's only because I know in their mind, body, mind, and soul, I know that they didn't do what they love. But in this case, guys, think about the now. Think about where you are now and think about what you want to do with the now and think about the future, right? Because it's all down to you. Do what you love, all right? And all right, so that's going to be it for this episode of Combos. Again, you know, I hope the tripod was um, made the audio quality better. I think it did because I'm literally looking at it right now and I feel as though just... I think it, I feel like I'm more expressive just because I'm not afraid of bumping the mic anymore and I'm not afraid of just... Um, you know, just doing any interruption because sometimes I did, th- I did that before where I, I bumped the mic by accident. And again, you know, now I'm starting to think about what other professional software I'm going to get because I'm still thinking of doing this long term. I don't care once I'm hired because again, that's just one thing, right? But this is another thing that's brought me joy to my life and to see other people love it and feel the same way. And it makes my heart warm just thinking about what it is that I've done for you guys. And so I love you guys for everything that you've done and for what you've done for me. And I hope you guys appreciate what I've done for you. And I hope that you guys, please, um, uh, I hope you guys have an awesome future. I hope you guys can find what you love. And I hope you guys, you know, again, look look forward to what's going to happen, right? Because, again, it may not seem like that now, but... There's always some, if you feel like you're at your lowest, that just means you're just going to go up above all, right? But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. You guys have been an awesome audience. And thank you guys as well for everything that you've done. Um, Please like, share, sub, and much love. You guys have been amazing. This is Mr. T signing off over in NYC. It is freaking hot. I got to turn on my fan. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Love you all. And I'll see you at the next episode, all right? Peace out and have an awesome day.